Hello and welcome to the next episode of Afro Daddy. Today I want to tell you about the most horrific day of your life as a parent, your child's first birthday. Now I'm quite a practical guy, so I've never really understood all the pressure that comes along with a first birthday party. After all, the person whose birthday it is will have no recollection of the day. In fact, the birthday boy doesn't even know it's his birthday or why there are so many people there and why they're all telling him to blow out a candle. But regardless of my pragmatic thoughts on first birthday parties, it is an important day. Not just for your child, but actually for all of your family and everyone that's involved in your child's life. In fact, it's probably a good idea to think of your kid's first birthday party as a celebration for everyone. Which is why, by the way, it's okay to have beer at a first birthday party. It's for the dads, really. I think a lot of the pressure that comes with first birthday parties is actually our need to keep up with the Joneses. There's really only one spot to place the blame for the pressure that comes with first birthday parties. Pinterest. Pinterest and other social media, kind of like YouTube, has really caused us to look at other people's lives and think how amazing it is, even though most of it isn't real. And that of course can create dangerous expectations for your child's first real celebration. So the best advice I can give you is to work out exactly what you want to do. Don't let the family down the road inform what your child's first birthday should be like. Now for some people that can mean doing something really small for just your close family. And for others it can mean throwing something really big with balloons and clowns and inflatable machines. All of which your one year old can't actually use. But hey, if that's what you want to do and it doesn't cause you any stress, I say go for it. Actually, the best, best advice I can give you is what to do with your child's presence. Because most kids at their first birthday will receive way too many gifts. Make sure that you don't open all of them. Note down who gave what and re-gift them at those other first birthday parties that parents are always going to. Because if you're like us, you're probably friends with other people with one-year-olds as well. To end off, I always like to tell you about a baby product that I have found really useful in raising children. And today's one is super simple. It's a bowl. Just a simple plastic bowl. The thing that makes this guy special is the suction cup underneath. Uh, my son is now at the age where he likes to feed himself but he also likes to throw things. Which of course is a bad combination if you're giving him a porcelain bowl or plate. The nice thing about this is that you can suction it onto a surface like a table and he can't really pull it up. See, I'm actually struggling. Thanks, Jeannie. She's right, the lid is important because it means you can get food ready for tomorrow and place it in the fridge. Ultimately, this will give you peace of mind while your child is feeding himself, and it also means that you won't have a floor that's covered in food and bits of porcelain. Thank you so much for watching. If your kid's first birthday party is coming up, I hope it is an awesome time and that everyone has a blast. Or if your kid's already had his first birthday party and you have some advice for other parents, put it in the comment section down below. I'll see you next week. Cheers! Now, something I haven't mentioned in previous episodes was that I'm actually an adoptive daddy with an afro. Now, I'm going to go into the details as to why my wife and I decided to adopt my son uh, in a later episode.